So uh, today we have a much briefer tournament report than what would usually happen because I uh, uh, this weekend was the uh, Oz Comic Con, so a whole bunch of the people who usually go to my locals um, were busy doing that. So uh, for today we had about maybe 15, 16 people at the event, far cry from the 40 odd that's been the average over the last few um, locals so today we only went the four rounds no top eights no nothing um i took hat once again went two one one uh round one i played against like if i had to simplify it i would say i played um the mirror match except i have to establish that it was actually i would i would go so far as to call this i hat where I stands for, or I the I in that is stands for Inca. And if you don't know what the Inca cards are, go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's, um, the anime, and um, observe the final battle between the trio of signers and Rex Goodwin. Um, those were the, that, those were basically the um, extra little bits and pieces that I went up against. So he had um, both of the Sun and Moon Dragons did so, those sorts of shenanigans. Um, he ended up, I ended up bricking a bit game one, and it cost me the game eventually. Um, he just sort of um, got over my back row and pushed for the damage there. Uh, game two, I went. We went into time. Then uh, basically just, I basically made my own push, got some damage in, and then was basically left with nothing. But he couldn't commit the, enough damage to uh, get over me there, so that ended in a one-all draw. Uh, round two, I played against uh, Mythic Rulers. Uh, round game one, I opened Triple Firehand. It was disgusting, and it, I would have had some kind of fighting chance, but then he dropped Armadus. So that 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 was that. Uh, game two, I did not deserve to win because basically I uh, went back and forth a little bit. I managed to um, get over his Dracosac. Actually, did he go for Dracosac? Yeah, I think he went for a Dracosac that game. Um, managed to get over that, and then he pulled uh, Leo out of nowhere just kept swinging at me um so he took the swing dropped me down to 800 life points and then upon the, his end phase realized that he did not have a deck left because he drew through that much of his deck so quickly so he ended up decking out of that and my next top deck was useless it was an mst um so that like i was pretty much screwed in that game because um he had that and he also had um he also had skill drain out which would have just slaughtered the shit out of me it was terrible um but yeah that sort of happened then um game three basically opened pretty much nuts just ran him over had all the answers to his uh stuff like dita crow's debunks that sort of thing just got it all out of the way cleared that board off and pretty much took the game from there uh round three i played against noble knights he went nuts game one and then i realized like i don't even know what made me think that this was even the case but I learned today that Noble Arms Excalibur, and I think it is, the one that prevents targeting, cannot bring itself back from the graveyard when it's destroyed. I'm an idiot. So, I'm at, th thankfully, though, I managed to get rid of it, and then I one oh one his uh, Artorigus, and then basically from there pushed for damage and took that game. Then, uh, game two, uh, he didn't quite open as nutty as he um, was before. Just pulling some... just shuffling some cards here because i bought one of each of the tins and um got some good pulls out of it i got an exciton which i used today so that was awesome um but basically just sort of sat back went a little bit back and forth and then managed to find the um and then i managed to find the hole in his scheme he went uh rota into madrout had bores with three equips onto him and basically from there had decided he had nothing else to use, he couldn't stack, and so from there I basically made what may have seemed like a dumbass play, but ended up winning me the game. Upon the summon of Madrout, I activated Spell Shattering Arrow, and destroyed all of his uh, equipped spells. So it burned him for some damage, but it got Madrout equipped with something alongside Boars. So I basically just sat back on that, let him do that, and then as soon as he went for the Artorigus, I went, uh, I went time sp I went, uh, Trap Hole Nightmare, and just from there, um, had, uh, Lavalval Chain, then made a Utopia, then just swung for the next couple of turns, and then basically won that game from there. And then, round four, I played against Yang Zing, same person I played last week that I got shafted by. Um, I was nowhere near as 
I was nowhere near the level of going to bloody get screwed over by time here because he uh, just managed to get a quick board of Yang Zings and hands combined together in both games and then just ran me over. That was it. I just sort of dropped that one 2 0. So, um, probably could have maybe. I felt like I probably could have done better, probably could have easily done worse. I mean, had that guy not decked out, I would have been 1-2-1, one, one, which would have been terrible. But I finished 6th out of about 15 or 16 players, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. I was in the top half of the players, so I was quite content with that. Um, so as for the next video, I guess I'll just have to be showing off the deck that I played, because uh, I managed to get a couple of bits and pieces in before the event started, and when, which affected the... Um, way that the deck played probably in a more negative manner than, than anything but whatever and then so yeah uh, so see you for the deck list